Well, good afternoon, everyone. This is uh, Sunday, Father's Day Sunday, and I had originally intended to do a, um, a more regular vlog, but some events that kind of happened that's kind of affected me a little bit that have made this more of like a one-take kind of video. So I don't know how long it's going to be, and I'm just going to say it and then cut it. But for those of you who may not know, uh, a couple things that I just want to say off the bat. Um, before I kind of get into what happened a little bit, um, my childhood was was a little bit interesting. Both my parents were alcoholics. They they divorced each other twice during during our time, and a sec second divorce was particularly difficult. Um, it was during that time that um, almost all of our family photos were destroyed, and um, I only have like I, I have one picture of me as a baby. One I have one picture of me, maybe about five or six, maybe a little bit long, younger than that, and then one picture of me in grade school, and then one picture of me and junior high that I know of. Now there may be, other family members may have some, but this is all I have left. Now, and I don't say that to poor pitiful me, I'm just, for those of you who may be new to following me and may not know everything, that's just a little bit of the backstory. And my mom called me yesterday and she wanted to know, and she had been, it appears she had been drinking a little bit, and she called me yesterday and she just wanted to know if I had had any good memories of my father. Um, and the reason why she had asked that, for those of you again who may not know, almost three years ago now, uh, next month it'll be three years, my father c killed himself, committed suicide. Um, no real explanation, it's just, just something that happened. My sister took it very, very difficult. Um, I took it as well as could be expected. My relationship with my father had been strained for a long time for, for a variety of different reasons. I, I never wanted it to end up like it did. I don't think anyone ever completely wants that. But um, So she just asked me if I had any good memories. She had just got back from vacation with my grandmother and was just kind of wondering. And, um, and I told my mom and, that I made my peace with both of them a long time ago that uh that my mom told me that it was this the question wasn't about her it was about my dad uh so that's typical <laughs> but uh, i just told her that i had i had made my peace a long time ago and, and the truth is that um my dad wasn't perfect by any stretch of the imagination i'm not perfect by any stretch of the imagination my uh, me and my sister's childhood was very difficult um but better than some. Some had it worse than I we did. But it, it was not pleasant. Um, you know, being a child of an alcoholic, one alcoholic is difficult enough. But having two, and having both be your parents, it, it's a lot to overcome. And I, that's why I've purposely kind of distanced myself a long time ago from that situation because for me to. Con for me to be better, for me to break the cycle, that I knew that I had to do that. And that's just something that I did a long time ago. And so, um, I didn't expect my mom to call me and ask me those questions. And I honestly didn't expect the feelings that arose because of that question to kind of come into play. And and I, I, I don't have any regrets. Um, I made decisions because they were the best for me, and then ultimately they were best for my immediate family, my wife and my children, and I knew that I needed to be able to do that, but it was still not an easy decision. It was still very difficult, uh, because let's face it, doing the right thing sometimes is extremely difficult. Uh, sometimes it's the most difficult thing that you will ever do, is doing the right thing. And so, I am... Um, It's just been it brought up a lot of the memories from that time frame, and and, and there was a good time. And, and, and as I've said, I, I made my peace with both my parents a long time ago. I, I don't try to dwell on the past. It doesn't mean that I don't think about it at times, because at the end of the day, it is a part of who I am. I mean, it happened to me. I can't erase that. And in some ways, I, I don't want to erase it, because I think it's helped me in some ways to be a stronger person. In other ways, it's it's hurt me. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It has hurt me. Um, 
depression. I struggled with depression for a very long time because of a lot of that stuff. And um, I struggled with anger for a long time because of that. And um, But I'm fortunate that I have a very loving wife. And uh, for those of you who may not also know that, that Jamie and Marie are, are not my biological children. They, they are um, Glenna's from a previous marriage. I've, I've raised them and I've been in their lives since they've been about four and five, five and six, um, technically four and five because that's when we met. Um, I don't refer to them as anything other than my children because at the end of the day they are my kids um, and I love them to death and I honestly don't ha have any idea what kind of father that I've been to them. I, I've done the best that I can and God knows that I've made mistakes. So yeah, this Father's Day has just brought all of that up and it's um, it's made me sad because I do just wish things could have been different. I wish my father could have seen past his own hurt. I'm not kind of sure what sure what kind of Father Day you've had, and I'm not sure what your relationship was with your own father. But I do hope, no matter what it was, that you did have a good Father's Day. I, in spite of everything, I had a good Father's Day. Marie got me; she hand made me this um, little throw rug, and um, I get to spend it with the people that I love. And um, even though they drive me crazy sometimes, and I drive them crazy sometimes, I'm fortunate. I'm very fortunate that I was able to find someone in my life who could see past and see the real me inside and um, and want to stick around for that. And so for that, I'm very grateful for my wife and I'm grateful for the time that I've had with the kids. And um, I do love you, Jimmy and Marie, very much. And I just want the best for you. All right. Anyway, that's it. Sorry for the long talking head video. Um, I will see everyone later on this week. Bye.